growing up. When I saw myself in the mirror, it was like, who am I and where do I fit in? It wasn't until I cut my hair short that I really felt like I had come into myself. Looking back at old pictures just kind of reminds me of what it's like to not know yourself. Sorry. I grew up in a small town in central Utah. My mom actually had a beauty shop in our house. It was very active. Perms and updos for proms. I was aware that that's what girls were supposed to look like. But I made a choice to be happy. Like, I made a choice to be genuine with who I was. I cut my hair short, and I really felt like I had come into myself. Like, oh, there you are. That's you. There's not one thing that I would change about Kylie. I was taught that you looked a certain way, you dressed a certain way, and I always wanted to break that mold. I wasn't brave enough, so I raised girls that would. Once I started frequenting barber shops, I didn't really feel that, like, yeah, come on in. Barber shops are known to be pretty hyper masculine places. You know, it's a dude's space. I realized, like, there might be room to create a new haircut experience. Briar Tux is for anyone. You have hair and you want it cut in a barber style, you can come to Friar Tux and get that cut. Oh my God. I love what you can do for somebody with just a haircut, how that can change how somebody perceives themselves. It's really empowering for me to be able to give that confidence to somebody else. Thank the good Lord for Kylie. I was looking for a new person. I wanted this haircut. And I just knew that she wasn't gonna judge me. For a really long time, I just equated beauty with femininity. And now I think there's a million definitions of beautiful. The most beautiful that someone can be is when they are being the most authentically themselves.